Hi, I'm Eric. Welcome to We Do Topic Talks. Recently, there was some news that's really exciting, and I want to talk about that. Now, I'm an English teacher, not a scientist, but I really do feel some jealousy of scientists because science is so cool and interesting. I love reading news about paleontology and anthropology especially, but I have also been interested in vehicles like airplanes and rockets since I was a little kid. And recently, on February 18th of this year, 2021, there was some really interesting news. A large vehicle about the size of a car reached the planet Mars and landed safely. Now it's going to drive around the area, researching the environment and doing various experiments. This is really big news. Maybe you've heard something about it. First of all, this vehicle is called the Perseverance Rover. Its name is Perseverance. And it might look familiar. This is because it's the second rover of this style that has worked on Mars. A rover named Curiosity, which looks very similar to Perseverance, reached Mars in November of 2011, almost 10 years ago. Curiosity is still working now, and because it was so successful, they used the same design when they made Perseverance. However, the equipment and scientific tools are completely different. These rovers have six wheels, a large body for carrying all the equipment, an arm to do work, and a mast that stands up with a kind of head on top. Perseverance has a lot of different kinds of cameras, so it can see very well. And for the first time, it has microphones too. So now we can hear what Mars sounds like. However, Perseverance didn't go alone. Attached to the belly of the rover is a little helicopter. Next month, probably, after the scientists have checked and made sure that everything is operating okay, they're going to set up this helicopter and try flying on Mars. I think this is the first time humans will attempt to use a flying vehicle on another planet. It's going to be a really historic moment, and I'm very excited to see how it goes. The name of the little helicopter is Ingenuity. So the names of these three vehicles are Curiosity, Perseverance, and Ingenuity. All of these words are good human qualities. Do you know what these words mean? Curiosity means you want to know about many things and you always try to study, research, experiment. You always want to do many things in order to become smarter every day. It's good to be curious. And perseverance means you never give up. Someone with perseverance will try again and again, and even if they experience many failures and embarrassments, they will continue trying until they reach their goal. Perseverance means never quitting. And if you look at the word ingenuity, you may see that it's related to the word genius. So it means someone who is very talented and smart. It means being creative and capable. I want to be a person with curiosity, perseverance, and ingenuity. And I hope you do too. And maybe you heard me call these vehicles curiosity and perseverance rovers. These vehicles are called rovers. And if you like cars, you might know the car maker called Land Rover. This word rover comes from the verb rove. And to rove means to go around without having a clear destination. It's similar to wander, if you know that word. The difference is that a person usually wanders around on foot. It's like going for a walk or taking a stroll. But roving is done out in nature, in the wilderness. 
in a vehicle like a car or Jeep. So rover is a good word for these vehicles, Land Rovers and Mars Rovers. Now I told you that Perseverance reached Mars on February 18th of this year, 2021, but it left Earth last year in 2020. It was launched from Earth in a big rocket called an Atlas V rocket on July 30th. So the trip to Mars lasted about seven months. The length of this trip to Mars could vary a lot though because the Earth and Mars are always orbiting around the Sun and the shapes and speeds of these orbits are different. So the distance between our planets is always changing. When you go to Mars someday, the launch will probably happen when the two planets are closer together. The word launch means to release a rocket. When someone pushes a button and the fire explodes out of a rocket, forcing it to go forward very fast, that's called launching a rocket. I don't think I would like to go into space or try to live on Mars myself, but I would like to be the person who pushes the button that launches the rocket. I think that would be pretty cool. Now, if you go to the NASA website and look at all the information about Ingenuity, you'll see that they're calling it a helicopter. But many people call it a drone, too. And since the word drone could be a little confusing, I'll try to explain a little bit about what that word means. A drone is not just a toy with four propellers. A drone is actually any vehicle that can operate without a human controlling its movements. Some drones travel on land, and some drones travel in the sea. Also, drones can travel to their destinations and return home without being guided by a person. In other words, a drone is like a robot with AI. It knows what to do without a human controller. Well, of course, Ingenuity doesn't have a pilot, so it is a drone. But on the other hand, Ingenuity is only testing its ability to fly. It's just a tool to find out whether or not it's possible to fly on Mars. It's not really going anywhere. It doesn't have a destination that it's trying to get to. So, since it's more limited than a normal drone, I think that's why NASA calls it a helicopter. I'll call it a helicopter too, even though it's like a drone in some ways. And speaking of NASA, I'm sure you've heard this name, but do you know what the NASA mean? It's the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA is just the initials. Aeronautics is a word you should know if you like science, and actually, aeronautics is the field of science that studies how to fly. The scientists who study and research and create all the ways to fly are called aeronautical engineers. So NASA is the part of the American government that manages aeronautical research not just on Earth, but in space too. Now, when you look at many of these pictures on the NASA website, you'll see the letters JPL written on all the equipment. And if you watch science news, you'll hear the word JPL mentioned a lot. And actually, JPL is just as important as NASA. JPL is actually a part of NASA. Like I said, NASA is the group that manages aeronautical research, but JPL is the group that actually builds the equipment. JPL is located in Los Angeles, California, and this is the place where the rovers and helicopters and all the other complicated pieces of these machines are made and tested. JPL means Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Propulsion comes from the word propel, which means to force something to go forward. 
It's similar to PUSH, but JPL doesn't only make jet engines. They make and test all kinds of complicated equipment, but they still use the name JPL. They actually do many, many other things as well. It's a very important place for the creation and use of new technology in the world. Now, for me, the most exciting moment was when NASA released a video showing the arrival of Perseverance on Mars. It reached Mars protected by a heat shield. This is because Mars, like Earth, has an atmosphere. Atmosphere is a word that means air, but we use this word when talking about the planet and the environment. Perseverance came out of space and entered the atmosphere of Mars at such a high speed that it needed this heat shield to protect it. It would burn up in flames if it didn't have this shield. Then, to slow down, they used a parachute. After this parachute slowed them down enough, they dropped the heat shield. And at that moment, the cameras of Perseverance showed us the Mars landscape, and we could see the approach and arrival on Mars. But the coolest part was when they got near the ground. In order to land on the ground softly and safely, they used something called a sky crane. This sky crane was a kind of drone that didn't use propellers. Instead, it used rockets. When it got close to the ground, it lowered the rover using some cables. And when Perseverance was safely on the ground, it flew away. At that moment, somebody said the words, Tango Delta, and everybody cheered like crazy. It was the moment to celebrate because they were successful. But actually, you may be confused. Why did they say Tango Delta? Are they going to dance the tango? No. This is a code word. Scientists, pilots, and government or military people often use code words like this. When you hear some words that seem like they don't make any sense, look at the first letters. Tango Delta's first letters are T and D. And this means touchdown. American football when you score, we say touchdown, but we're not talking about American football. It just means the Perseverance rover has finally touched the ground. It's safely landed, touchdown, Tango Delta. And the place it touched down in is called Jezero Crater. A crater is a dent in the surface of a planet that was made either by something that hit it very hard, like a meteorite, or it could be caused by an explosion on the ground, like in a volcano. Many meteorites hit planets all the time and make craters of all sizes. Jezero Crater is just one of many craters all over the surface of Mars. Actually, the place where Curiosity rover landed 10 years ago is called Gale Crater. And what is the reason for these rovers to go to Mars? What kind of work will they be doing? First of all, they'll be doing a lot of geology. Geology is the science of studying rocks and dirt. Geologists can understand the structure of a planet and the history of a planet by analyzing the rocks. We want to know about the history of Mars and what's inside of Mars. So these rovers are doing a lot of geology work. And one of the ways Perseverance will do this is by taking rock samples and making a cache. Caching means making a collection of things and saving them to use later. If you find a cache, it means you've found a collection of something. Later, another mission will be going to bring back this cache of rocks from Mars so we can look at them here on Earth. Also, as I said, 
Mars has an atmosphere. That means there's air on Mars. But compared to Earth, there's very little air. And the air is mostly carbon dioxide, which we humans cannot breathe. We need oxygen. So Perseverance has some equipment designed to make oxygen. It's going to try to change the air on Mars, which we can't breathe, into a kind of air that we can breathe. And the reason for this is because scientists want to send people to Mars. The biggest and most ambitious reason for sending these rovers to Mars is to test the habitability of the planet. Habitat is a word that means a place where people or animals live. And we want to find out if Mars can be a place where people can live. Scientists are going to test this planet's habitability. To me, that's the most amazing thing. It's not science fiction. In our lifetime, there will be people on Mars. As fascinating as these rover missions are, it's going to be so amazing when we see people living on Mars. Are you looking forward to going to Mars? Well, I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.